Monday. And I'm doing a little workout right now. Um, my original plan was a run, but I'm not doing a run right now because we were doing errands earlier today and then we got home ate dinner and so it was a little kind of late for a run and I have flexibility in my schedule to change thing or things around so I was gonna work out tomorrow but I'm gonna work out today and then run tomorrow so that's the plan and I'm doing squats right now squats used to be my favorite lift but now they're like my least favorite lift um, it's just, yeah, I don't know. I, I used to be so much stronger in my squat, but I guess since my knee hyperextension injury, um, I've been taking it off, taking it easy on the leg, but, um, now I'm coming back. I warmed up with 135 and then I did another set of 185 and that was going to be another warm up, but it, I, it, 185 is kind of a way to have been like dancing around a little bit so like I'm, I'm, I'm low-key like too afraid to go up to 195 because I feel like it'll be too heavy I mean I used to do 225 225 we used to be my working set just just yeah like a little bit ago um but I've, I've just been doing 185 because I, I know I can so I did one set of 185 I'm gonna bump it up to 195 now for these last two sets of probably three because it's just I'm, 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 I'm hating squats right now squats squats are a big L right now um, I'm just I am confident enough in my knee but I I feel I don't know I'm just it's just hella uncomfortable not uncomfortable to do the squat but just having all that weight on your back I'm just not used to it I need to I need to build up slowly. I'll get back to 225 quickly. I just need to, I need to build up again slowly. Um, yeah. Ninety-five for three. Yeah, I used to, used to squat. Two forty-five. Now it's fine. One ninety-five. So one ninety-five to two forty-five. It's a big jump, but I've been very inactive for a little while, or I haven't been powerlifting exclusively. So yeah, two forty-five for three was when I was powerlifting exclusively, and then my max was three hundred. So, falling off the powerlifting train, but that's not the main goal right now. We're running, running gains, but this helps running, so that's why we do it.
squatting. Squatting is hard. I I prefer deadlifting so much more over squatting. And that's just because, I mean, deadlifting is heavier, but the weight isn't all on your back. Feeling like the world is on your back. 300 pounds on your back, a lot of weight. I'd rather just hold the 300 pounds. Because if I can, if I need a bail, I can just drop it. But if I need a bail on a squat, it's so much more involved. You either fling that weight off your back or you drop it down to the bars, the, the safety bars. <sighs> yeah. Workout today, run tomorrow. I think I'm just gonna deadlift now and then call it. So I get the squat and the deadlift. Because I, I do my, my upper body stuff on Thursday anyways, split that up, so. Yeah. I'm gonna try doing sumo deadlift because I wanna target more of my hips and my glutes. And I think it still will also give the proper stimulus for the, um, the knee extension that stimulates running. Um, so I, I, I still think it'll hit that same knee extension um, and it'll still provide the, the, the strength training for that. But I wanna focus more on the hips because I have been having like a slight hip thing hip and glute, so I wanna wanna see if doing sumo deadlifts specifically will, will strengthen those areas. So that's the plan. Sumo deadlift. Two hundred seventy five pound deadlift. Trust me, there are twenty fives on the side. You just can't see them. The only thing you can see are these sweaty dogs. I'm about to hit this 275 sumo style. With my figure eight wrist straps. Because I have cringe grip. was harder than I remembered it to be. Probably because I haven't worked out in a while, or I'm starting to, consistently. It's been a while since I've done my consistent powerlifting, so. Yeah. In the wise words of Super Hot Fire, but I'm not a powerlifter. Right, that's what he says. But I'm not a rapper. Wheel, wheel, wheel. Wheel. All right, last last deadlift set here. I actually did two twenty five before I did that two eighty five two seventy five that I showed you, and I, I brought it back down to two twenty five just for a little because uh, the two seventy five just can be a top set. It was a little heavier than I thought it would be, and I, I'm not trying to hurt myself or anything. Um, so I'll bring it back to 225, which will be easy. Um, you can't really tell because the weight's cut off on the side. But I'm not lying. Why would I lie about bringing it down? Why would I tell you that I brought the weight down? And lie about it? Ain't no lying here. Because we're in my house. There's no lions in here. <laughs> I'm so funny. 
Call me Honest Abe. Squats and deadlift. What time is it? What time? 10.35. Yeah, I'm gonna call it. I did my workout for today. That means I get to run tomorrow. With Tori! Workout felt good. That's good. You seem like you were, you were kind of enjoying yourself a little bit. Uh, yeah, Just I, making it fun for yourself. Making it fun for myself. Yeah. You know, I always say, it's all about that perspective, right? Whoa, I was just reading my, the perspective part of my cover letter. Wow. Whoa! Minds are linked up. Yeah, it's all about that perspective. Whoa, 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 you know whoa. what they say, I get to work out today. Ain't that right, Tori? Yeah, that's the one. That's, the, that's one. the one. I say while skirting my run to, for tomorrow, to tomorrow. Not for long. <laughs> yeah. Always looking for the silver lining. All right, today was Monday. I'll see you on Tuesday. Snake. I'm just running here, man. Okay. Ooh, it is Tuesday. We are running. The workout today is 15 minutes at mm, above 10 minute pace, 15 minutes at nine minute pace, 15 minutes at like 820 pace. And I can't do it. Like I'm, I'm running. The first 15 minutes were fine, of course. And then I just finished 15 minutes of nine minute pace, and I couldn't even keep up like nine, nine or nine ten pace. Uh, yeah, I, I just could not keep it up. It's my legs. It, it's either the pace is too fast. Today is way too hot. I don't have the energy for it, or. Um, since I worked out squat and deadlift yesterday, my legs are already tired. It's one of those four things, but I cannot give the pace. So I got 15 minutes at 820 pace. I'm going to see if, how long I can hit that for. Um, but like another thing with me is like, I can't differentiate between easy or hard pace. Like, uh. There's a car coming. Anyways. For me. Yeah, like, I have such a hard time staying at 9 pace. Either I'm going too fast, like 8.30. Then I try and slow down. Um, and then I might slow down a little bit. I get to either 9.30 or 10. Like, running at specific paces, hard for me to fine tune. Um... Yeah, so maybe that'll just come with time, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna try and run. The timer's still going, but like, I, I think the smarter thing is to take a, a quick break, like a five minute break, and then do 10 minutes at 8.20. Cause I really don't even know if I can do 15 minutes at 8.20, or I don't even know if I can hit 8.20 right now, 8.20 per mile. So I'm kind of thinking about this, this training pan, plan and if it's already this hard, it might not be a good idea to continue because it might hurt, hurt ourselves, right? I mean, Jude and Rudy already hurt themselves. Like Jude's knee has been acting up. Um, and then Rudy got shin splints. So we are already kind of hurting ourselves. So maybe the sub four hour marathon is, is not uh, gonna be applicable especially since it's gonna be our first marathon i don't know i don't know man all i know is i'm, I'm just gonna keep trying this, this plan out the pace 
the distance isn't a problem it's of course the pace so yeah i might we'll have to keep going we'll see we'll see how we are um i'll keep running with this plan but because i'm also strength training i'm gonna try not to hurt myself yeah we'll see i'm gonna gotta try and hit 10 minutes at, at 8 8 20. Best mile, eight sixteen. I was able to keep honestly pretty solid eight thirty to eight fifteen pace for those ten minutes. And I call that an absolute win because my legs are sore and tired already from squatting and deadlifting yesterday. It's hot as nuts out here. And I did 30 minutes of running already before that. Yeah, these workout days are no joke. I had to take that five minute break after the first 15 minute runs, but yeah, that last 10 minutes was good. I was imagining someone ahead of me running and I was trying to chase them. It worked. Helped me push even harder. I was tired. Now, so I'm gonna drink some water, go home, take a shower, and then I don't know how I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I don't know. It's a good day though. It's a good day to feel like you're almost dying. Whew, we're chill now. I'm chilling now. All right. That was that was. Tuesday. I'm I'm feeling I'm still feeling iffy about this training plan. I'm very prone to injury. I've injured myself doing sports athletic related stuff many, many times. Cuz I go really hard. I go hard then I hurt myself. So maybe I'll adjust the goal. So I'm we're doing I don't know. I just don't want to keep on this training plan on the same sub four hour marathon training plan and, and hurt myself. So maybe I'll, I'll make it easier like a sub 420, 430 marathon training plan, but we'll see. I'll do, I'll do a little more. Let's check in with Tori and see how her mile went. This is first time her Garmin training plan suggested to run just a mile before it would say like seven minutes on one minute off but this time it's her first time just truly running a mile uh, yeah let's see what do you use fennel for how was your mile run it was really good yeah what was your time i ran almost the entire time uh, i ran a 14 minute 56 for 14 56 mile Epic. <laughs> Bruh. That felt really fucking strong. Happy Wednesday. I just had an important thought on scheduling this training plan. It seems like it is actually important that I do the the first run of the week, the Monday run on Monday, and then strength train on Tuesday. Because as we found out yesterday, if I do the strength training first and then the, the, the progressive run on Tuesday, my legs are 
are more heavily impacted and it's harder to run well. So that's just an interesting note that I'll, I'll keep in mind that I should really stick to the schedule and not switch it up if, if I can. Um, so interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, all right, Kelly, now you get to make the day of a liking member of our studio. Wednesday update, I signed up for a half marathon at the end of July. Um, it's going to be in D.C. It's going to be along the river, so it's going to be really pretty. Um, and I'm going to try and go for sub two hours. That's the goal. Uh, ever since... Um, the one in Mississauga, the half marathon in Mississauga. Uh, I wanted to try and go for a sub two hour half marathon. Um, my first, my fastest half marathon is two hours, 13 minutes. So I want to, I really want to beat that. And I really want to get sub two hours. So, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be possible with this much training. Um, as much training as I've done so far, but... Like, I, I don't know. I've never been like a fast runner, so that's what's up. Um, it was raining heavily today, but I, I, yeah, and that, that did kind of delay my running. Um, so that's kind of why I didn't run. Another reason why I didn't run is because I'm just, I was just lazy and I wanted to relax today. Um, so dual reasons. The rain really just facilitated me being lazy. Um, so I didn't run. I'll run tomorrow though, because tomorrow we're, we're running. Um, but yeah, that's the update for today. Um, also, my lower back is hurting me for some reason. Um, probably the squats or the deadlifts, one of those two, clearly. Uh, hopefully it doesn't become a bigger issue, but we'll see. We'll see. It doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt like all the time just like very specific motions it'll, it'll come up a, a, a twinge of, of pain so yeah it doesn't hurt while i run too so that's good at least but we'll see uh, but this is wednesday yeah wednesday update just ran in did a morning run with tori Ugh. it's thursday how was how was your mile and a half it was hard it was tough but she did it. I wanted to give up. But yeah. I persevered. <laughs> That's right. Tori's epic like that. <sighs> so do a random act of kindness today. Nice random walk, run, vibes. Fancy Loyola. Loyola school. This is a high is this a high school or a college? Could be either. They have tennis courts over there. Like, really nice. Multiple tennis courts. Right in front. So, I don't know. I feel like that, that could be a, a high school. Low key. It's got a castle. Alright, just finished running in Towson. I forgot two things. I forgot one, uh, how nice the Towson neighborhoods are, especially West Towson. And two, how hilly Towson is. There's so many hills. Ugh. And hills are hard, but. but yeah, hills are hard. That run. Was, it was hard the last 10 minutes. The last 10 minutes I was supposed to be running at a nine minute mile pace, but I wasn't really able to completely hold that. I was averaging more like 9.30. I was at nine minutes for some of it, but again, like I said, holding nine has always been hard because they go easier or faster. But just today in general, like, I think the heat, it's so hot and humid. If you know Maryland, you know that Maryland humidity. So it was really hot and humid. Lots of hills too. 
So the first 35 minutes was good. Just at a recovery pace, easy pace. But then, yeah, it's really, my performance is making me question how realistic a uh, sub four hour first marathon is. I'm gonna be honest, I, I read all the online, all the online forums and I know they say you shouldn't, shouldn't really have time goals for your first marathon. This is the first time ever doing something like that. Um, so I, I, I mean, off the bat, I really don't know if um, I'm gonna be able to do a four hour marathon, but I'll, I'll train for it. Like, you know, shoot for the moon. If you don't hit it, you know, you'll land them on the stars. So even if, even if I go for a high goal and I don't hit it, at least the amount I've trained is gonna let me reach a, a higher goal. So I'm gonna go reach for that higher goal. We'll see if I do sub four hours, but running that nine minute per mile pace after running 35 minutes already was tiring. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know how, how this for, how I'm supposed to hold a nine minute per mile pace for four hours. Whatever. It's only the second week of training. So I got like four months left. But we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, it was hot, hot as crap, man. Keep it PG, hot as crap. Uh, my car is saying it's 91 right now. I believe that, I believe that. And it's humid. Yesterday, there was a, a tornado warning. Actually, a tornado hit. Um, Gettysburg? Gettysburg? Something? Something in Maryland? Yeah, a tornado hit something in Maryland. Um, crazy. Crazy. I don't think I've ever seen a tornado in Maryland. Uh, I would have I liked to run yesterday. But I was just partly lazy. Um, and I was... Of course, the rain didn't help either. It would have been cool to run, though during the storm ever since running in the rain at the in the the the, the nature center um last week i was i was thinking about man running in the rain again would be really cool especially a heavy a heavy rain um always on that grind you know no i'm kidding uh but yeah Really not sure about the uh, reality of a sub four hour marathon at my pace. I'm like, it's like, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm working hard, but I just seem to always end up as like an average runner, no matter how hard I feel like I'm training. Um, I don't know if that's a, oops, a relatable feeling. Um, I really don't know if I'm getting faster, to be honest. Maybe I am. With uh, with lifting, it was it was very clear to see that I was consistently improving. My PRs always went up. Um, but with running, I I don't with running I don't really quote unquote PR often. Like I don't I don't try and go for a fast mile. I don't try and go for an all out five k often. Um, but you would think that you're you're like speed during your workouts be going up um and i don't know if that's exactly true or not what i do know is i i do grow in the distance i can run um comfortably so like when i first started running like three miles was was tough but now three miles is easy three miles is a light light day you know and of course, when I when I first started, I couldn't run a half marathon, and now I can run a half marathon. Um, yeah, like I feel like I, I, running a running a ten k. I feel like I could at at any point. I feel like I could go outside and just run a ten k, um, six miles, which wasn't always possible. Um, so I do feel like I'm getting distance gains, but speed gains, speed has always been something that I have not had good luck with. So 
we'll see how I how I how I go. Speed also hasn't really been something I've been super into. Like, of course, I want to finish at a respectable time, but it's not. I'm not trying to like race, race. I'm always just trying to like get better myself. Um, but speed isn't something I'm super uh, interested in as, as, as a top priority. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go grab some chicken sandwiches. So it's gonna be very delicious. Ooh, that went. <laughs> Rough shape today. Wow. Yeah, looks majestic. Dude, they're so tight. All right, warm up done. This is Friday. And this is me before doing five sets of three sprints, hill sprints. This is me after one set of three hill sprints. This is me after two sets of sprints. I need water. My throat is dry. Whew. This is me after three sets of sprints. I think I'm gonna call it there. It's because one, time again, we gotta get to Costco before it closes. Two, still felt like a good workout. Um, next Friday, I'm gonna try and shoot for at least four sets. Last week I did three sets, this week also, but my legs are feeling worn just from the amount of running I've been doing this week. And then these sprints, like the inside, I just got like the inside right here. This feeling not not doesn't hurt. It feels sore, but it definitely feels like it's it's pushing right there. So I'm not gonna push it any further. I'm just gonna do a good three sets of sprints today. Yeah, and uh, this week I'm not stopping because of DND. DND mentioned. No. Uh, stopping because. Costco. Oh, I gotta stop my stop my my watch. I stop my watch. Pause it. It's 7:51. Yeah, Costco closes in 40 minutes, so you gotta get to Costco. Get some things. Just a few things. I want to get some more jalapeno chips. Get some more eggs. Some dumplings. Some glizzies. Love me some hot dogs. Love me a red snapper. Uh, and then I want to get a, I want to eat a, a, a Costco hot dog, so. Literally right on time, I think I just got like a, a muscle cramp or something. It was like a, like a sharp pain in my, my quad right here, but not like a, it, it felt like a muscular pain. So I feel like more like a cramp, but yeah, that's, that's really funny timing how I just talked about my legs being tired from the sprints and from all the mileage I've been doing, building up to. Yeah, so I'm gonna take a break tomorrow, then Sunday hit my long run, which is gonna be, I think like 80 minutes, 80 to 90 minutes, so that's the plan. That's the plan. It's a good day out though, beautiful day out. All right, first time, this is Saturday. First time trying soft shell crab. We decided there's a crab place near us and we decided to go for a soft shell crab sandwich. Look at that guy. Look at the claws. Look at this little guy. He kind of makes me sad. All right, should I take first bite? Yeah, take a bite. Okay. This just feels so odd. Really bite that crab. It's really good. All right, let me get a bite. It's like really good.
Bless you, CG. Hmm. I feel it's like crab. We put a lot of toppings on it. We though. did. So I don't really taste the crab that much. Really? I do. Maybe it's because I got more of a claw. Maybe. I don't know. Try, try just like the piece that's hanging off or like one of his legs or something. One of the fins. I don't know. Really? It's more like the breading on the crab and the crab itself to me. Well. Welcome to the Saturday run. It is a beautiful, beautiful day for a run. Sunny skies, warm weather, nice breeze. These are the days that I feel like running is the best. Is it enjoying these days is one of the reasons why I love running so much. It's because it gets me out here on these beautiful days. It makes me appreciate the good weather and makes me, I don't know, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it just a little bit more. So it's a beautiful day. I'm about to hit this 80 to 90 minute run. I got a hand water bottle with Gatorade in it. I'm not trying to lose my electrolytes. Um, yeah. Might might listen to some more D&D podcasts while I run. Uh, I run this trail all the time, so it's not like I'm missing out. But, you know, get to do best of both worlds. Get to enjoy the nature and listen to some podcasts. So let's hit this run. See how, see how how bright it is. How bright it is out here. Make sure you're wearing your sunscreen. Wear that sunscreen. Yeah. Oh, it's been about 45, 15 minutes. It is hot. It is a hot day out, man. My legs are tired. Maybe still from the sprinting. Sprinting plus all the other running I've been doing. Yeah, like cardio wise, I'm fine. I am running at a little bit of a faster pace than normal. Still within zone two, so I'm not, I'm trying not to go above 150. So it feels good. It feels good that I'm managing a faster pace at zone two. So maybe that's signs of improvement, but whew, my legs are tired. I cannot hold a yeah my legs are tired maybe i need to rest more too but i gotta run tomorrow so i don't know i'll have to figure it out but i'm going to continue continue to at least 80 minutes so i got i got half an hour left yay let's go oh that was beautiful All right, 80 minute run complete. Like I said, it was a chill run, kept it in zone two. But my legs, boy, they were tired. Definitely took uh, many walk breaks. Some longer than others, some just a few seconds, some maybe like a minute or two. Oh yeah, my legs, but uh, making progress. It's probably just a sign of maybe not enough resting. That's what I'll, I'm going to guess. And also, I was having a, a twinge of, uh, not pain, but it's like that feeling I used to have uh, when my, my IT band would act up. So I don't know if it was my IT band or my one of the, the tendons from my knee hyperextension. Um, we'll see, though. Because I, I did do more like, consistent running. So we'll see what it is. Um, just gonna rest a little bit. Uh, good run though, beautiful weather, beautiful, beautiful day out. A lot of people out on the trail. Another day of me being awkward, awkwardly going past people. Usually I just try to make a lot of noise so they know I'm behind me and then they can, they see me and then they 
walk around, but one time there was this, uh, this family and they didn't notice me behind, so I, I was like, on your left. But it was like, it was so awkward. Um, other than that, yeah, really good run. <sighs> Today's been a good day. Just did like house cleaning with Tori, getting some things together. Yeah, I'm gonna go back eat. Tori's making pretzel dogs. She's making like the pretzel dough. And we got massive hot dogs from Costco. So we're gonna have pretzel dogs. I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna probably eat more. Yeah, amazing day. These, these are the good days for sure. These are the good days. Hope you had a good Sunday. Hope you had a good week. Hope you've been liking the vlog so far. If you have any suggestions on anything I should do for the vlogs. Let me know for sure. Um, there may be more to this vlog still after this, but for now, for now, this is my Sunday. Get up, get after it. That's what I always say. All right, have a good day. This is pretty epic. I'm looking at my watch right here. And I think for the first time, I don't know if we can see that. For the first time, it says my aerobic base is improving that's pretty epic see <laughs> that's what i felt like um i was running at a zone two kind of effort but i was running a little faster than i had been before so, at that zone two effort. so maybe i am improving a little bit who knows um that's cool it's not you know i don't i don't 100 percent trust the watch and, and its stats but is better than having no baseline so if even the watch says i'm improving that could be an interesting thing to note so uh yeah cool little note there awesome